hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by again for another tutorial first off i'd like to say a happy new year to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers you're all highly welcome i know i haven't been posting uh, uh, so for the past uh, few months uh, it's because i like that in the way and i got so many things to do but i'm definitely back right now so to start off the new year i decided i'm going to concentrate more on doing a pattern um drafting this is going to help my beginner subscribers and also the seasoned uh, designers so this will also help you out so in today's tutorial i will start off with drafting different necklines so without further ado we're gonna get into the tutorial to get um, started with drafting the different necklines today what i did is i used my basic uh, bodies i used it to cut out the the patterns on the pattern paper the for the necklines i'm going to be showing you how to draft okay so now the first one that we're going to draft is the u neckline the u neckline so the unique line is shaped like a U. So it's almost similar to neckline. Okay. So I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can um, watch the how to draft the basic uh, bodies uh, pattern because you're going to need it uh, you know to shape and manipulate the neckline anyhow you want also take a um, take note that you can also draft uh, the, uh, the necklines that are directly on your fabric if you're very comfortable cutting directly on your fabric you can do that but you can also practice uh, with your pattern paper how to draft uh, these uh, uh, different necklines I'm going to show you okay so this is my um, my pattern paper so I'm going to show you how to draft uh, the U neckline so the first thing that you're going to do is determine how deep you want your neckline to be so for me i'm going to just use that eight inches i'll use eight inches but you can use uh seven six five inches depending on your preference so i'm going to mark the eight inches right here all right and now for the weight that i want for the for my neckline i already have here um five and uh, five and a half inches so but i would like uh, my weight to be two inches so i mark the two inches right there so i'm just going to connect the two inches down i draw the line like this And then you connect it to that eight inches uh, depth, neck depth, like this. So after you do that, the next thing is you come on this angle. You're going to go up by two inches. So this is my two inches. I'm just going to draw the line like this. So this is my two inches right there so once you do that you now take your french curve if you have one and then you place you place it um right here you place that french curve like this make sure it touches the uh, neck depth which is right here so you can just uh, pivot until you get it correctly 
so you can see so now i will just i will just uh, connect from here down to that diagonal line then down to this eight inches depth so this is it you just create it like that all right so once you cut it out you have something like this so this is your u-shape as you can see it's very deep okay so i label this a u-shape neckline now the next neckline that i'm going to show you how to draft is the sweetheart neckline so i get my pattern paper again and then i'm going to measure the depth i want for my neckline i'm going to be using eight inches like i used uh, for the previous uh, neckline so i'll mark my eight inches right here then i'm just going to draw the line And now for the uh, the depth of my neckline, I'm going to use that two inches again. Then connect that two inches to the depth. And then, so once I connect that, so now once you connect the line, you have something like this. And then I'm going to come here from this uh, mid, um, from this uh, center front here. I'm going to connect it in a diagonal manner to meet the weight of the neckline, which is right here. You connect it like this, as you can see. Now I created like a right angle. So now you're going to measure this uh, diagonal line that you just marked. So I'm going to measure what I have. I have like over nine and a half inches. So I'm going to get the midpoint. So I'll place my tape rule like this. As you can see. And then I'm going to mark this as my midpoint. Then from that midpoint, I'll place my, my ruler like this my french curve rather like this so you place your french curve like this as you guys can see to make sure it, it touches the midpoint which is right there so i'm going to just create it like this you just make a curve like this i hope you guys can see what i did so you just make that curve like this to meet this midpoint all right so first you're going to measure your width and then the depth of your neckline you can use any depth that you want i use that eight inches and my weight is at two inches after that i drew a diagonal line like this and then i measure the midpoint of that diagonal line which is right here then i place my french curve this way touching the midpoint and then i just make a curve like this okay so i'm going to cut this out now so once you cut it out you see you have a perfectly shaped uh, um sweetheart neckline it's just as easy as a b c d okay and this is our sweetheart neckline okay the next neckline i'm going to show you how to draft and cut is uh, the v-shaped uh, neckline as usual you're going to get your um 
bodice pattern and i'm going to use that two inches again so these are all for um illustration purposes but you can always uh, use any depth that you want for your um, neck width okay so i mark my two inches and then from there i'm going to mark eight inches down you can use uh, seven inches nine inches depending on how low you want your v-neck uh, to be all right so which is, i mark my eight inches here and i'm going to connect uh, together i connect it like this and then i'm going to connect it to the center front like this okay so once you do that you use your ruler you connect in a diagonal manner from the from the tip of the neck weight down to the center front so you have something like this however if i go ahead and cut this um I cut this neckline out right now it's going to have a, a very a sharp edge okay so i don't want that i want my v-neck to sit uh, like curved so what i'm going to do is uh, get the midpoint of this uh, diagonal line again so to get the midpoint you just place your your tape rule like this and then you're just going to fold your tape like this or you can do the calculation based on what you the measurement of the diagonal line you can just uh, divide that into two but me i like to do it this way and i get the i marked my midpoint right here from that midpoint i'm going to come out here by half an inch so this is my half an inch right there and now i'm going to use the french curve you try and use that uh, this side so i will place the french curve like this you might have to do it like you try and do it um in stages if your french curve cannot reach if you don't have like a longer French curl, you can do it that way. But let me see if this one will take it on at once. All right, so I'm going to do this in batches. First, I'll connect from here. And then you connect down to your depth like this as you can see it's already curved now you can differentiate this is a straight line and this is a more curved in and that's your v-neck uh, neck okay so once you cut it out you see, you see how it's shaped instead of just going straight you know in a sharp line it's kind of curved in so you can see so this is our v-shaped neckline now the next uh, neckline that you, i'm going to show you how to cut is the square shaped uh, neckline so i am going to uh, measure the weight again i will use that uh, two inches for illustration purposes but you can always use whatever neck weight you desire so i mark my neck weight and then the length the depth of my neck weight i am going to use uh i will use um let me use eight inches just going to connect these lines together connect the weight to the depth line like this and then i'll connect I'll connect this to the center front like this so basically this is your um, 
square shaped uh, neckline if you cut it this way it's going to be so square it's not going to have like that contoured um shape on your neck okay so in order to eliminate that and the sharpness in order to eliminate the sharpness what you're going to do is come on this uh, corner and mark in one inch you just mark in one inch from here all right and then you're going to take your ruler and just connect that one inch back to the um neck width so i'm just going to connect like this so that when you you when you use um when you cut this out on your fabric this will allow it to sit up properly because if you go and do it like um straight up like this you're going to have some kind of gaping on your neckline and you don't want that so that's why you have to uh, um, go in by one inch and then you're going to cut from that point once you cut it out this is what you're going to have as you can see it's more curved in this way instead of being so square you see how it's curved this way now our next uh, neckline um, is uh, the boat uh, neck neckline so the boat neckline is uh, not too deep the neckline is not too deep but the width is uh, wider okay so in order to uh, draft uh, the the boat neckline you get your body uh, pattern again like this i am going to be using uh, one and a half inches as my weight okay so whatever weight that i'm using right here so i'm using the uh, one and a half inches which is right here i mark the one and a half inches here so whatever weight i'm using here i'm going to multiply that by two and use it as my neck uh weight okay let me take that again so for the boat neckline whatever uh, depth measurement you're using right here you will multiply that by two and use it as your neck weight so in this instance i am using one and a half inches so if you multiply one and a half inches by two that gives me three so i am going to mark the three inches right here as my neck weight so I'll just mark this down and then I'll connect it together like this so I've created my square and now uh, once you get that like this you're going to go in by one inch or one and a half inches or two inches depending on the depth of your neckline so for this uh, i am going to go up from this angle by one and a half inches so i place my tape roll like this make sure i get the one and a half inches and just draw a diagonal line like this as you can see right there and once you do that you just take your french curve place it and make sure it's touching the diagonal line and the weight sometimes with your french curve you might have to do the you might have to connect okay so you just make your curve like i said you can do this in batches okay and then after that we go ahead and cut it out okay so once you cut it out you have something like this so it's more like 
roundish shaped but wider so it sits perfectly on on your neck on your collarbone rather when you cut this out on your fabric okay so this is our kenu neckline kenu or boot neckline Now the next neckline that I'm going to show you how to cut is the um, asymmetric uh, neckline. And now for this neckline, I'm going to be opening up the um, I'm going to be opening up my bodice like this. All right. You open up your bodice like this. So now. You can decide which side you want your asymmetric uh, to fall into, whichever side you prefer. So, for the tutorial, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to come on this side and mark two inches as my weight. And then on this side, I have half five and a half. So I'm going to mark a two and a half on this side. Actually, let me mark three inches on this side. I will use a three inches on this side. All right. As you can see, I mark two inches on this side and three inches on this side. Then I'm going to determine the width I want for my neckline so i'm going to be using uh, five inches but you can use six inches or seven inches whichever one you prefer so i mark my five inches right here and then i'll be connecting the lines So you just connect the lines like this and so once you connect the depth you want like this you're just going to use your ruler you can use a straight ruler and just connect it straight to the two inches here or you can use a, a curve so i'm going to curve it out so it can look nicer so i'm going to use my fr uh, french curve like this let's see to get the two inches here So you just keep use this to cover it out. If you want yours to be straight, you can just draw a straight, use a straight ruler to connect it. So as you can see, I carved it out like that. If you want it straight, you just use a straight ruler, connect this line up to the two inches right here so now i'm going to just uh, cut this out all right so this is what you have your asymmetric neckline You just label it. Now for the um, next neckline, I'm going to show you how to cut out is the one shoulder neckline. So just like we did for the asymmetric uh, neckline, you're going to get your basic uh, bodice pattern again. And then you're going to open it up. So I open it up. So again, you can decide which way you want your um, one shoulder to fall. You can use your right or your left, whichever one you prefer. So once you open up your bodice like this, on here, I'm going to mark, I will use uh, two inches for my weight, the weight of my neckline. I mark it right there. Then on here on the armhole, I am going to measure uh, five inches. As you can see, I measure five inches right there. So, but for 
depending on how off you want yours to be you can go lower or higher but it's advisable to make sure whatever measurement that you use that this side is uh, uh, very snug you don't want to use um you don't want to use a uh, measurement and then over here will be gaping when you sew on your on your fabric so i'm using a uh, five inches uh, here which is okay for me i mark that here and the depth the width i'm working with is two inches i mark my two inches right there okay so once you do that you're going to use your french curve again So I'm going to curve it out from that two inches mark. My French curve is very short, so I'll be doing this in batches. So once I get that, you connect to the five inches mark on the right here on the armhole. To make sure that they match. Together. all right so this is what you have so please note also that when you are drafting this you have to cut the back and the front together so it's very important so let's say that i have another pattern paper Let's say that this is my back. Let's say that this is my back and I have my zipper here. What I'm going what you're going to do is just fold in your zipper allowance and tape it if you um and tape it. So it's going to the inside of the back is going to be facing you. It's very important. And then you're going to place it together. And this side will be the um, this side will be the right side of the front. It will be facing up, so that when you cut, you make sure they will match up together. If not, you're going to have like this side facing that way for the back, and you don't want that. So it's very important when you're cutting out this kind of uh, neckline that you put the back and the front together the front piece will be the front uh the right side will be facing up and for the back the wrong side will be facing up okay so that's how you're going to um cut the one shoulder neckline so once you uh draft your line next thing is just to cut it out All right, so once you cut it out, you have something like this. So this is the one shoulder neckline. All right, now the last neckline that I'm going to show you how to draft is going to be the um, off shoulder neckline. Or it can be a two uh, top neckline as well. So for this one, you're going to make sure you mark in your chest line. And my chest line is, um, my chest line is uh, nine inches. So you have it right there. So once you get that, you're going to come and get the mid armhole, the midpoint armhole. And for this is uh, five inches. I mark the five inches right there, as you can see. And now, if you this, if you want yours to just be a straight line, all you have to do once you get the mid armhole, you just go straight across and and use a straight ruler to connect it. So, but if you want yours to be like a sweetheart neckline, all you have to do is. Um, use your french curve i'm going to use my french curve you place it like this place your french curve like this to meet the chest line 
okay so what you, you just have to connect from this you connect the mid arm hole place your french cover you just connect it like this to meet the chest line and that's just about that on how to grab the off shoulder or two top neckline so i'm just going to cut this portion out Okay, so once you cut it out and open it up, you have something like this. So this is your two top neckline. Off or your off shoulder neckline. So you can also use it as a two top. All right, you just put like strap. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial on how to cut different uh, basic uh, neckline. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And if it has, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share my videos. Until I see you next time, I remember, I remember my humble self, a trendy AB. Bye for now.